Well, a disappointing afternoon for Wolves and Wolves fans today. It's Dave from Talking Wolves alongside Matt Cooper. Matt, oh, first of all, how are you? Are you all right? Yeah, it's been a while since I've been on the, yeah, uh, been the old Talking Wolves. My the laptop's old... packed up, so that's why we've got an un- unfamiliar background. But there there is a Wolves scarf up there. So. It's nice, like a proper YouTuber um, now. You've got the Wolves background. Uh, I know, man, videos, I just mate. need to see it. the green screen now. Get me in the studio. Yeah. Like Dave was a part oh, of. here we go. <laughs> SL1. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, Matt. And Wolves coming to a defeat, first defeat in what, like six games? Um, disappointing performance. I don't think it was too too bad overall. It wasn't an overly negative performance. But, no. I mean, it's the first game back after international break. The last game, Watford lost 4-0. Do you think it was a case that the international break came at a good time for Watford and probably a bad time for Wolves, especially with the runs both teams were on? Yeah, I'm, I'm, you can blame Nuno for not changing the team after an international break. Um, he could say he was naive not to change it, but... We won our last game out, so I don't really blame him. Yeah, uh, looked it looked a bit leggy, and it was just a couple of minutes of concentration laps that cost us. Really, Matinho trying to look, think, <laughs> think, play the ball over players head straight from kickoff. Like, come on, you're an experienced pro, and you, you're such a dreamboat. What are you, what are you doing? <laughs> like, you're ruining your reputation. Um, you, but yeah, it was dis- it was disappointing, but it was going to come. It's the manager of the month curse, isn't it? Yeah. So, I mean, do you think, obviously you mentioned the lineup there, do you think next week he will change it or do you think he, he's going to keep it the same again? No, nah, he's got to change it. Jota is anonymous. Yeah. yeah, he's got to change it. Um, the problem is, with if we had someone of similar quality to Nevers and Matinho, I'd, I'd, I'd swap one of those um, because both of them yeah, are poor, poor today. today. Yeah, they were. But we've got Saïs who... Been chasing shadows. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> he's a fan of the good old Romain. No, I do like him, but he's not disciplined enough to play in a two there. Like, yeah. Not in the Premier League. You look at Capu and Decor right today. They absolutely ran the show. They were. They just big, big units, but technically very good as well. And that's something we lack. I mean, dare I say, it, we, we missed Alfred and Joy today, <laughs> or someone, someone that's of similar cool. stature. Yeah, yeah. I know. That could be the tagline. We missed up in New York. We get some views. Um, but yeah, we missed a big six foot three shit house in the middle of the park. Um, yeah, it was disappointing. But you know, it's one of them. It's the Premier League. You're gonna you're gonna pay for those kind of mistakes. Yeah, I mean, we don't want to be. You know, we try not to be overly negative. As we say, it's just a second defeat all season. I think we've started off a lot better than what people would have expected. Uh, but you know, on paper. It's going to be one of them games that really you feel Wolves should be winning. Um, but, you know, we, we could go and host Spurs, beat them, or go to the Emirates and beat them, and this sort of result will be all forgotten. Um, these are the games that we should be winning, but yeah. Wolves, I don't think were... Uh, I mean, first off, I would say Watford were the better team. Wolves tried to keep the possession, but I think the way, with the way Watford set up, Watford played, um, they've been playing with that 4-4-2 throughout the majority of the season. They almost changed to like a, a 4-2-3-1 today. Yeah. All those forward players interchanging. Um, even starting Isaac's success for me ahead of Andre Gary was a, was a strange one, but because of his physicality, it caused Wolves problems. We struggled yeah, to he's a, anything. he's a big old boy, and he yeah. success. I mean, he wasn't successful in scoring. <laughs> yeah. like that. Yeah. Um, he, um, <laughs> that's a shame. Yeah. Um, but they couldn't deal with Delafayo's movement. I'm not his biggest fan, but he was he was big, he was dropping into those pockets in between midfield and defence yeah. and causing a few problems. But I mean, I know it sounds silly, but if you take the two goals out of it, I, I think. Oh well, yeah, yeah. I don't we were think, a fairly even game. I don't think there was any. Was yeah, no. there was no other chances other than those two. There was no other key no. chances. That I, I thought, wow, we should have scored that, or they should have scored that. I think there was the one chance for Watford in the sort of mid-second half where Neves trapped back and really, really well defended. Yeah, great um, tackle. That was right behind. Walls had a couple of half chances. Willy Bolly almost scored a back heel, which would have been uh, tremendous. <laughs> um, uh, but other than that, we didn't create a lot. Vinagre came on at half time for Johnny, who obviously picked up a booking man. I'd, um, I'd, I'd, I'd play. I'd play Vinagre next. Game. I really like Vinagre. He needs a good run in the team. He does, yeah. Um, you can't drop dirty at the minute. I never ever thought I'd say that. Yeah. Uh, we, you know, a bit humble. So would you drop? Uh, would you drop Johnny, or do you think it's a bit? I mean, uh, to be fair, I think especially against uh, no disrespect to Brighton, but against a team like Brighton, where ideally we probably want to go and win, Vinagre is a little bit more attacking. He can probably get away with you know uh, pushing yeah. forward a little bit more. Um, do you think you should? You should go did on. you see that tackle Vinagre did towards the end of the year? <laughs> The end of the game where he like just smashed him in the gob. I can't think. Down, no, I can't think. Down by the um, North, North Bank, Bank way. Steve. But yeah, yeah it, it was it was a yellow card. He just like 
gave him a left right good night and the <laughs> ref play, play on but less said about the ref today the better oh, yeah. I mean, absolutely we'll, awful we'll, t- we'll touch on him quickly Lee Mason I put, I put a tweet out at half time man of the match for Watford at the moment is Lee Mason absolutely shocking it, it is almost like it's a non-contact sport today wasn't it um, a couple of ch- times where we'd win the ball but maybe a bit a quite strong tackle where he'd blow there was one in the second half which was horrendous I think that was more the linesman than Lee Mason Pereira down the corner oh, by the Billy yeah, Wright yeah, yeah. loses the ball um, and he just goes down like he'd been shot and, and the, the line I gave that one to be fair but it's it, it was just a poor poor referee it's, it's embarrassing the standard of refereeing in this country is absolutely abysmal I'm trying to get on a referee's course myself but I can't get on one within a 40 mile radius of my home yeah. or what what is that yeah I mean I've looked at it before as well and is it worth all <laughs> Oh, no, 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 yeah. no, back in business. Is it, Somewhat, is it worth Tom all Woody those? just replied on Twitter there. There we go. Nice one, Tom. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, it, it's, it's a tough job. It is a tough yeah. job, but you've got to... And we can't use the referee as an excuse because at the end of the day, we were no. poor, but obviously he made the game less enjoyable for, for us. He didn't fans. make any decisions that kind of decided the game. Um, but, but it's yeah. just, we, we were losing and it definitely wasn't on our side. No, hey, no, no. Just, you got it. You got it from it's the just... four, from the forty fifth minute where Ben Foster's taking at least thirty to thirty ben seconds Foster's to sixty seconds. It's an embarrassment, and I, I know he loves it as well. Yeah, yeah, he, 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 he loves it, but he's, he's just embarrassing. Like, yeah, like, but why? Like, why is the referee? Up. Why is the referee not being more dis- like disciplined with the with the bookings and stuff? Ben Foster didn't get a book in that second half. Where all that time he was taking with the goal kicks, every time he picked up the ball, what's the second eight to ten second rule is it you meant to have? Even less than that, and uh, it's meant to be six seconds in your hands. That's it. But the referees yeah. never, never. That's a, one of the worst rules in football because they never. Uh, no, it's never they, enforced. Yeah, that's what I mean. But um, uh, you know, in about game, eight, eighty second minute, he had a goal kick and you know pissing about with it. And Decore was like pointing at the ref, his own player, saying, "Hurry up!" Yeah, like you're gonna get a book in here, and he was just telling. I mean. Yeah. It's never enforced, though, is it? So they're going to do it, and and unless something changes, then um, and they, they are going to keep doing it. But we can't look at players like Foster and stuff, and we just, just weren't good enough today. Yeah. But you know, it's the Premier League, and onwards and upwards, we've had a clack, cr- cracking run so far. Yeah, and it'd be easy to be very downbeat about things, but surprisingly, it's much to yeah. our viewers' dismay, I'm quite positive. About. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, of course we're gonna upset, and we're gonna we're gonna pick be really picky about everything that we're gonna talk yeah. about. But um, obviously, as I say, Nuno's third defeat in the league at home since he started as manager, which is is a great record in itself. Not that we've obviously lost today, but I mean we've only lost three times in in that yeah. like, almost a year, um, season and a quarter now. Um, Striker wise, Jimenez obviously didn't really get in the game today. No. Does that? Who else have we got though? That's what does that for you? I know we. This is a an argument or a talking point every week or every other week about our goals goal scoring prowess. And yeah, we say, oh, right, we've got three or four or five players that can get ten goals. But have we? We haven't at the moment. Where, where, Jota, where are they? Costa, someone, Cavalera, someone obviously they are. coming on. Adama's not going to get you ten goals a season. As good as he is, or as as impact as he is, he's not going to get you the goals. Him and Azar is probably finish. the only goal. So does that for you in January still mean we need a striker? Um, yeah, definitely. I know look, on about Origi uh, the other day, because yeah, yeah, we'll signing for twenty million in the in the summer. I'd take um, it. Yeah, I mean it, we, we were still doing that with two or three days to go, so it just shows that they weren't happy with what they what they had in place. Because Bonatini's toilet. I don't care who's going to come in the comments and call me every name under the sun. He's, he's rubbish. It's just today we needed a goal. <laughs> he didn't come, didn't come on. on. He's yeah. a striker. Mm. I mean, yeah, as we say, disappointing performance. Wolves overall, though, not overly negative. I just don't think we got going. We didn't really get out of first gear today. We didn't offer enough. We didn't go forward enough. Um, Troubled uh, Watford. Um, Of course, not the most ideal performance from the referee today, but we're not going to use that as a major excuse. But overall, Wolves defeat two goals to nil. Hopefully, we'll come back uh, and grab three points next week against Brighton. Uh, Make sure you stay tuned for the preview and reviews of that. In the meantime, though, you can check out all the social medias at Talking Wolves on Twitter and Instagram is Talking Wolves Official. And on Facebook, all the links for me and Matt and Talking Wolves in the description. Let me know your thoughts on the match in the comment section down below. And uh, until next time, guys, enjoy the rest of your weekend and we'll see you all very soon.